<laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Snow water. Your goal is to get these colored cubes. These are points. The big ones are just fives. But there, there's a twist that is very There important. are four mm -hmm. colors of cubes. Okay? Obviously, red, green, black, and blue. Everything in the game is four colors. Diamond. Right? Archer. So let's say you get to the end of the game, cool. and you have, like, 12 oh. blue, 5 black, 5 green, and 1 red. Your final score is 1. Oh, boy. Yep. <laughs> Kanitia loves that shit. Yep. As soon as if you had this, your final score would be 2. Mm. And so on. Your lowest one is the points. Now There are wild cards. There are these treasures, which we'll talk about. A treasure is any color, so in this case, your score would be three because you would assign your treasure to red, obviously. Mm -hmm. It's just a brain-dead solution, right? During the game, you will accumulate these, as I will describe, and hide them behind your fucking shield. Don't let anyone see them. Though getting so you them don't is know, public information. Yes, getting so if you can count all the ones everyone gets, you're good to go. But yeah. otherwise, you hide that shit. So you don't know what anyone's score is, and you don't know who's in first or whatever. Well, you should know if you're paying You should know. Okay, how does this game go? How do you get these cubes? So, at uh, the beginning of the game, right, there's obviously four colors of tiles, red, green, blue, and black. At the beginning of the game, there are red tiles on all the lion's faces. These are, I guess, thematically red as temples? Right? Temples? And the theme does not matter at all. It's about the theme. Mm -hmm. uh, blue is like harbors or farms. Oh, uh, th this is called a shedu. Yeah. That's what that is, that thing. Yep, sure. <laughs> okay, shedu. on each of these starting temple shedus are the treasures, which are the wild cards. Do, 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 do. Where's more? We need more treasures. Oh. In the box. more treasures in here for some reason, but we're not going to use them. Okay. At the beginning of the game, everyone is going to get six tiles from the bag. All the tiles go in the bag. And you're going to have four leaders. They're all going to have your symbol, as going to be one of each color, and you don't really need to hide those, because yep. everyone can just tell. So here's your yep. lions. Here's the lions on the pots. Here's your pots. James got the bulls. Okay. You're also going to have two... You're going to have a handshake, handshake, and two catastrophes. Oops. I'll talk about the catastrophes much later. But you're going to have a handshake and two catastrophes. Okay, that's your equipment for this game. Okay, so at the start of the game, everyone goes in the bag and gets six random tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Ta-da! Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. Okay, someone's going to go first. I don't know who's going to be. Oh, these are monuments, by the way. Mm. These are all of them. Okay. Oh, there's a way we figure out who goes first. Okay. Anyway, we'll figure out who goes first. On your turn, you have two actions. Okay? These are the possible actions that you can do. Action number one, put leader on the board. You can take any leader you want that's not on the board and put it on the board. Mm -hmm. You can only put it orthogonally adjacent to a temple, a red space. Leaders you can't, always have to be next to red. You cannot put it in the water. Okay. Right? And it, you can't put it, like, on top of something, so you can't be, like... Yeah. Right? Each space is occupied by one thing in this mm -hmm. game. Right? Oh, your, your tiles that you have are also hidden. I'm right. only not hiding them because yeah. I'm teaching how to play. Yep. Okay? So, an action that you could do, and you have two actions per turn, is put leader on board. You could also remove leader from board. Can you move a leader? I think you can just move a leader, right? Yes. You can also move a leader. Like, boop, that's one action. Okay? Those are the three things you can do with a leader. Second thing you can do, second action, is tile. You take a tile, mm -hmm. and you put it on the board. You can put a tile literally anywhere on the board. With a few exceptions. Sure. Legal. Yep. Right? Blue tiles must be placed on water. Mm -hmm. No other tile may be placed on water. That's it. That's put a tile. Yep. Right? You can't put a tile on top of a leader. You can't put a tile yeah. on top of a tile. Whatever. Okay. So, how does the game go? Well... When you have a, on the board something that is a combination of both one or more leaders and one or more tiles, that is now considered a kingdom. So this is now a kingdom. This mm -hmm. is not a kingdom. Okay? When a tile is added to a kingdom, right? So a tile going here is not a tile that's, well, that's not legal. That's not a tile that was added, added to a kingdom, so yeah. nothing happened. 
This is not a tile that was added right. to a kingdom so nothing happens. Here, a tile has been added to this kingdom. Mm -hmm. You check the kingdom and you say, does that kingdom have a black leader in it? No. So nothing happens. Right. Okay, a blue tile was added to a kingdom. The kingdom has a blue leader. Whose blue leader is it? Blue point. Boom. It doesn't matter who has that tile. Yeah. yeah, so it's like, if you put that tile here and it's my blue leader and that my kid, I get the blue point. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so that's how the most basic way to get points is just put tiles in a kingdom where you're the leader. Boop. Point. Yep. Getting blue points, right? Uh, of course, my score is still zero. I only have blue points. Not so good. Okay, so that's the other basic action you can do. Let's start going for weird things. Weird thing number one, right? And remember, two actions per turn, and that's right. it. Oh, there's another action. Go to the bag. Oh, at the end of your turn, after you take your two actions, you draw back up to six. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can, as an action, discard any number of tiles and chuck them in the box. To go out of the game. Oh. And then draw back up that number of tiles that you just discarded from the bag. You could do that twice. You can do that twice. You can go six, six. Yep. Why is this important? When the bag runs out, game is over. Okay, so if you're winning and you don't think anyone can catch up, and the bag, you, can, you can't count the bag, but you can... You can sort of do that. You can mm -hmm. feel the bag. You can assess the bag as fully as you are ape capable of. Without looking into outside. the bag, right. Yes. So you can feel the bag, and you're like, I think there's less than 12 tiles in there. Chuck it, chuck it, game. Yeah. Right? Game over, right? To stop anyone from catching you if you think you're ahead. Other reasons you might want to do that also, right? Like, I've got a fuck bunch of shitty tiles. Chuck, draw. Mm -hmm. You have one. It's caused one action That's to do that. That's an awesome hand, though. That's a really great hand. Uh, okay, anyway. Uh, you pretty much be able to play the hand you're dealt in order to win this game. Mm -hmm. if, you're ch if you're chucking because you have shitty tiles, you're losing actions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's another action you can do. Um, okay, let's talk about um, monuments. Okay, so you're playing the game. Oh, I forgot. The black leader is special. Every leader is sort of special, but mm -hmm. the black leader is extra special. Let's say, normally, in this situation, right, add a red tile, red gets a point. Add a blue tile, there's no blue. You think no one would get a point? Mm -hmm. The black leader is like a big bucket. He catches yeah. all the points uh -huh. that slip through the cracks. Yep. So if a tile is added to a kingdom, mm -hmm. if a red tile is added to this kingdom, obviously red, red gets the gets point. It. But if a blue tile is added, well, there's no blue leader, but there is a black one. So black is like the king. He picks up the points that fall through the cracks. Yeah. Okay, so putting out a black leader and adding tiles, you can get some points. That, you know, without actually having that leader in that kingdom. Okay. Monuments. So, if you get into a situation where there are four exactly identical colored tiles in a square, right? And notice the only place this can happen with blue is over here. The, this only can occur the moment the last tile is placed in Right. So, you are the person placing tiles, right? We'll just use red ones because we have a lot of them. Oh, tell them how many tiles of the different colors because they're not the same odds. Mm. Right? Okay, so boop. Alright, it's my turn. Action number one, I put a red tile here. Okay? Yep. We now have a square of identical colored tiles. I put the last tile. Mm -hmm. I must immediately now decide monument or no monument. Mm -hmm. Okay? If I decide no monument, it stays that way. If I decide monument, we flip these motherfuckers over. We arrange them yep. so like they this. Have a monument. And then I can pick, because it was red, I can pick this one, this one, or this one. Because they all contain They're red. All good. Right? And once one is picked, it stays there forever. It can never be removed ever, ever, ever. If one of those four has a treasure in it, the treasure block, you can't monument if one of the four has the treasure, right? Right. Uh, no, you can. You can? Then it stays on the same tile as the treasure. Is that true? Yes. Okay, because I don't remember that rule. Anyway. We messed that up once long ago. Anyway. Okay, so if there's a square, you monument. Yep. Okay, now... At the end of a player's turn, so at the end of my turn, right, mm -hmm. if I have a leader in a kingdom with a monument, and the monument matches my leader with one of its two colors, it spits out one point. Yep. So at the end of my turn, I would get one red point just for yep. sitting here. Mm -hmm. at, the end, at the end of Rim's turn, he gets a black point. At the end of his, nothing happens. Yep. At the end of your turn, nothing yep. happens. At the end of my turn again, 
another red point gets spit out. He does, Black Leader does not get. He does not get the. Not get the red he does not get the red point. He only gets the points from tiles that are. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, the, yeah, but he's not a super funnel, yeah. right? Notice this turning into a monument removed four red tiles from this kingdom. Mm -hmm. That's important for reasons you'll soon see. Okay, that's monuments. They just spit out points like crazy. Yep. Mm -hmm. If you can keep your leaders in those kingdoms. Okay. Um, catastrophes. When you put down a catastrophe, you can put it literally anywhere, but you can't put it on a leader, and you can't put it where there's a treasure, right? Hmm. Pretty sure you can't put it on a treasure. Can't put it on a treasure. But you can put it literally anywhere else. You can just put it like in the middle of nowhere. Yep. You can also put it on a tile. That tile is now dead. Yep. It's a dead zone, right? It's like nothing. So an example of a basic play with a catastrophe would be to do this. Oh. You're not next to any red tiles. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> basic play. Yeah. Another basic play would be like, oh shit, monuments coming in. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Right? And you're going to see the third basic play has to do with conflicts. So, we're putting all this shit on the board. Yep. Right? Conflicts. Two types of conflicts. Internal and external. The internal conflict is like, I'm going to sneak into your kingdom and kick your ass out. Mm -hmm. So let's, how do you do this? Well... Red's sitting in his kingdom pretty good, but you want to come into his kingdom with your red. Well, they can't be two of the same color leader in the same kingdom. That is not allowed. So if on your turn, you can just legally put this here. It's mm -hmm. adjacent to a red tile. So you go, put. Immediate internal conflict because there are now two leaders of the same kind in the same kingdom. Okay? In an internal conflict, what matters is red tiles. Only red tiles matter. Even if it was blue and blue and blue only red tiles matter okay so in this case the first thing you do is you count the number of red tiles adjacent to your leader i have two you have one mm -hmm. that was a stupid play for you to yeah. attack you would have attacked like right this there. that's a much better attack because yeah. now we're even okay you attacked mm -hmm. you were the aggressor yep you go behind your shield, mm -hmm. you take some number of tiles that are red. Red tiles. You put them in your fist. Yep. And then we reveal them. Yep. Well, you reveal them first, the attacker. The, the attacker, uh, I thought that the, yeah, the it's attacker reveals. And then the descender just chooses how many to put up. Oh, is that how it goes? Uh, I forget. Net runner. Wow. I've just been doing it on the, the, the tablet, so I'm just like, I just put out mm -hmm. how many I'm going to put out. So it's a net runner, Chris. Sort of, yeah. Yep. Does the attacker really go first? Anyway. So yeah, on a tie, the defender wins. Okay? So the win, the attack, the aggressor has, has to, has to yeah. beat. Obviously, in an internal conflict, the attacker is always going to be one of the players whose turn it is. Yeah. You can't be any other way. Yeah. Uh, other important note here. Okay, we got two kingdoms. Yep. Right? You may not put a leader here. You may not place a leader that connects two kingdoms. That is an mm -hmm. illegal play. Okay? So no one can put any leader in this spot or this spot because that would be a leader connecting two kingdoms. Yeah. It's not allowed. Okay? All right. So we do the internal conflict. So it's the number adjacent to you plus the number you reveal, right? Yep. Whoever wins the conflict stays in, right, and gets one red point. Whoever loses the conflict gets the ass kicked off the board. Yeah. That's it. So you can, if you got a bunch of red tiles, you can just be like, boom, kick yep. someone out. Throw some red tiles at them. Right. Yeah. Other basic strat, and those, those, all the red tiles revealed, whether you're successful or not, are Box. gone. Goodbye. Um, basic strategy, right? Play in such a way such that none of your red tiles have openings. So people can't. So attack people you can't attack you internally. Well, they they could go. Red tile and then attack you. Because they get two actions. Right. But but then they're one red tile down for their attack. Exactly. You see what's going on. Yeah. Anyway, so that's internal conflicts. Now for the big daddy, the external conflicts. Okay, I already told you, you can't combine two kingdoms with a, by placing a leader in between them. So this is an illegal action. This is not an illegal action to connect two kingdoms. This is where the game gets real. <laughs> to connect two kingdoms with a tile is perfectly legitimate. And mm -hmm. what happens is you place this tile. Right. No one gets any points for that tile. You put the handshake on that tile. Mm -hmm. Okay? Even now we check. This new kingdom that's about to form, combining two kingdoms, are there any conflicts? No. Yeah. 
Handshake comes up. Still, even though there were no conflicts... You had to check. We had to yeah. check, and no point was given. Yes. Right? So let's make some conflicts happen instead. Yeah, so... One. That guy... There we that. go. So now, uh, someone puts a tile here. Doesn't matter who it is. Anyone. Like, mm -hmm. Rim could put that I'm tile sorry, there. I really need some coffee. Right, Rim could put this tile here, and he's not even involved in either of these kingdoms. Right? But that's fine. So he puts that there. No one gets any points. Mm -hmm. Handshake. We check for conflicts. Black conflict. Because we have two leaders of the same color. We count on each side of the handshake how many of the relevant color tiles there are. So it's black. So it's one. Not these, just total. Right. So it's one black versus zero. Then the aggressor, the player whose turn it is, if they're one of the people, or is going left from the player whose turn it is. So if Rim put that down, I would be the aggressor. Yes, exactly. Yep, so right, and I'll be the defender. Pro tip, start a fight between two people who don't want to fight. Okay. <laughs> then we reveal black tiles, because it's a black yep. fight, okay? If you, if this side wins, if, right, if you win a, a, bla a conflict, right, the other person mm -hmm. removes their leader from the board, yep. and the other person gets a black point. If I were to win this conflict, right, mm -hmm. you remove your leader from the board, but you also remove every single black tile from your side of the uh, handshake. The aggressor is the one Urge. who has... No, no, no. It, anyone, there weren't any black tiles on my side uh, of the conflict. I see, I see, I see. When you win an external conflict, you yeah. blow away every tile of that color from the other side of the handshake. Yep. This may break the kingdom up. And this may break the kingdom up, conflicts. and now oh, no more conflicts mm -hmm. because the kingdom is devastated, right? Yep. Then, the person who wins gets one black point, two black point. For black every point tile. You get a point away. for every tile you blew away and on the other the side. And a point for the leader that you blew away. And a point for the leader yeah. you blew away. So you can get a right. ton of points of one color by winning an external conflict. Yeah. If the other side has a lot of tiles, which means your side had to have a lot of freaking tiles, mm -hmm. right? So, in this case, that conflict... And, and, so what if there's more than one conflict? Yeah. And, at a time. Yeah, the black tile in here, I think. Yeah, let's do it like this, and like this. Okay, so somebody puts a tile here, and the handshake goes here. The handshake goes down. Okay, so we have a blue conflict, and we have a black conflict. Mm -hmm. Whose turn is it? Uh, say Rim put it down. He chooses whether blue or black happens first. Ah. Uh. So he says, eh, blue's gonna happen first. Alright, that's three versus one, then pot and archer reveal. Yep. Right? Let's say Archer loses. Pot gets two blue points. This goes out of the game. Yep. No more conflicts. Yep. Removed. Yep. That's an external conflict. The black one didn't get to happen because yep. the blue one ended it. Right? Actually, no matter what, if this side lost, it was going to end it just because of the structure of this kingdom. Right? But if the other side had won, if, if, if uh, this Archer won, one, two, three, four blue points mm -hmm. for the Archer... And now the black one has to happen yep. after that. Let's say the archer wins again, miraculously. All right, yep. two black points for the archer. Yep. Handshake comes off. It's still two kingdoms. Yep. All right. So a lot of people died. Yes. So you can have multiple conflict, conflicts and external conflicts, but there's only ever going to be one on an internal conflict because the thing that causes that to happen is I yep. put a leader down. Exactly. Fine point. It is illegal. This is what the only like fiddly. I told rule. them you can't put a leader to combine two kingdoms. No, there's, there's one. There's a that's not fiddly. That makes sense. Oh, it's illegal because to combine three kingdoms. If you at combine one. a kingdom, the, the specific rule is you place the kingdom. You, the thing that combines them, you then place this on top of it for the duration of conflict. Yeah. Just as as a marker, you can never combine more than two, two kingdoms, kingdoms at once. Mm -hmm. so illegal. Nothing yep. could possibly go there but a catastrophe. Yeah. So you see Cut. how catastrophes can affect conflicts, mm. right? You can, like, if someone's got, like, a long string, you're like, I'm going to cut off your long string of stuff and, and then, then attack. attack you. Yeah. Right? Or, you, yeah. or I'm a catastrophe, all your leaders off of this place. Yep. We play until the bag is empty. On the end of the turn, when the bag was empty, the game is over. Whoever has the most points wins. Oh, treasures! It's the one thing I forgot, treasures. Yeah. So you might be wondering how to get these magical treasures. Yeah. The green leader is the magical treasure getter. Okay? That's his power. That's the green guy's power is getting treasures. So green guy is in a kingdom, right? If, if at any point a green leader is in a kingdom, and that kingdom has more than one treasure in it, right? So green guy's just chilling, right? Put this down. That's actually a handshake play. Because yeah. I, right? We checked. So no, so no blue point there. Yeah. No conflicts. But now, 
Oh, green is in a kingdom. There's a green leader in a kingdom with more than one treasure. Yep. That green leader chooses one of the treasures and takes it. Boop. Until there are only one treasures left. Mm -hmm. If the green leader is in a kingdom with two more than one treasure, and that treasure is one of the four corner treasures, this one, this one, this one, and this one, they must take that one. They may not choose the other yeah, one. So if these two get joined, you got to take that exactly. one. Exactly. But other than that, the green guy just chooses whichever treasure he wants. Oh, I forgot the old tradition. We'd always also have a fetish anyway. to represent our, our team. Also, keep in mind, the <laughs> treasure space cannot be catastrophe, right? So... If you were, say, you know, trying to move in here, you could catastrophe away this treasure and then try to catastrophe, you know, right? You, could, you want to use your green guy to steal treasures to mm. make the other guy's position weaker. And if somehow at the end of maybe, a conflict, there's like five treasures, you take all but one. Yep. If you're the uh, last green man standing. Oh, the crazy. game also ends if there are two or fewer treasures? Oh, I forget exactly. It rarely happens. It's mostly the bag yeah. empty. Bag empty. At the end of every turn... Every player draws back up to six. So if you were involved in an external conflict right. on, or a conflict on someone else's turn, you play your tiles to fight, everyone draws back up to six when the player's turn ends? No, you're in a fight, then you have another round, you don't draw up between, like in that same turn, between the two fights. Yeah, yeah they reach the end of a, a player's turn. A common strategy end of an a is turn. internal conflict, I lose. Internal conflict, oh, you used all your cards to fight? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or... Oh, he just played like three black tiles last turn. He doesn't have any in his hand. There are only two or two left. treasures. There are two if there are one or two treasures on the board yep. at the end of someone's turn, the game ends. Yep. And it doesn't matter what's in the bag. Okay. Pots. 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 We're going to play this game now. All right. Do these go behind my screen, too? The, um... Oh, so basically, no, everyone knows that you, you have... What you leave out for us have. are the leaders you don't have on the board right now. Mm -hmm. Your fetishes. Your the things that anyone can figure out because all that stupid. stuff plays out. Are there any tiles left in that bag? Uh, I mean the box. Yeah, uh, here. Let's put all the tiles in the bag. Yep. Oh, tell them the counts of tiles because they're not. Oh yes, there all are, tiles are not created equal. There are thirty-six blue tiles, mm -hmm. thirty green, thirty black, and fifty-seven red. Makes sense. Red is the juice that you need for every internal conflict. Also, those numbers are pretty specific. Yes. Which means that this game got a fuck ton of playtesting. It's it's a Kanitia game. Time? Also, fun fact, uh, we were taught how to play this game by Maker Games. Ah. At Penguin Con a hundred years ago. Alright. They always have like a big street team at those conventions. Next, I'm going to use my fetish to hold down the edge of this. Okay. You pretty much keep your points and your tiles secret. That's the important part. Alright, are we ready? Any questions? Did I miss I, anything? I, I, I think I'm going to figure oh, everyone, give me, give me your token. Oh, uh, where's first. my token? I gave it to you. Did I you put do? it in the bag? You probably put it in the bag. It always gets put in the bag. Yeah, I don't want <laughs> to put it in the bag. Fine, oh, no, don't look for it. I don't care. If you draw a thing that isn't a tile... I'm finding it. I was just going to substitute you with a handshake. Yeah. No, I'm finding it. Well, hurry up and find it. I am. I'm going to delay everyone by finding it. Oh, Scott, I realized something we can do really cool. Mm -hmm. Even if we don't buy wireless. So we can put, say, say you're using your camera to do video. Mm -hmm. And you wear my Marantz around your waist. Yep. You can plug the audio out from the Marantz into the camera. Does it, is it regular headphone size? Does my yes. Mic? Okay. And you can plug the Countryman into the Marantz. Oh. Yeah, we can do that. And then the other end of the Marantz could be the microphone that you point at. I didn't know Marantz had audio out. Right, it does. You can use it as an analog sound card. So Marantz basically replaces the $2,000 thing we could have gotten for the yep, camera. But you have to tweak the levels because it doesn't, it records locally. Well, you can tweak the levels in here too. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a little microphone hole here. Once we get the, the countryman, we're just going to have to try all these configurations. Do we get them perfect? Yeah, let's test out that Marantz thing like in the house. Because we have to be able to do those, we have to be like at a con, like you want to do this thing like we did Anime Boston? Yep. Bam. All right. Random start player. Stick your hand in there and pull something out. Yeah. Whatever you pull out, let's do it. Alright, it's Scott. Archer. Yeah! Keep these in front of you for good luck for the rest of the game. They serve no other purpose. Oh, the board's upside down for me, conceptually. It's not, no, it's not. I always play with the water on the right. I always sit right here. I, I Why do you. I'm used to sitting. Alright, so I'm going to take six tiles. In front of this, every time we've ever played this there game, except once or twice I sit there. There you go. There you go. Remember, you can't six look tile. in here, but you're totally yep. allowed to touch it. You can touch the bag anytime you would like. <laughs> you can touch it as much as you want. You can you can root around it on the outside and actually count the tiles if you are physically capable of doing so. Okay. Oop. 
right. If you try to do that every turn and count them entirely, you just quit. All right, remember your turn. Give me a second. So I put put. That was my two action. I'm really curious to see because I've never played. I haven't played this game many times with people who have never played it before, but who are otherwise very good at board games. Mm. This is going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. the, <laughs> the directional heuristics are going to be made up on the spot. Remember, I can see everything. I know. Thanks for looking at it. <laughs> I can still see yours. I see that tile. On the, I see, I see three of your tiles. Now I don't see any. I finished my turn. You pass the bag around when it's someone's turn. Yeah. yeah. Which is also annoying because we'll keep forgetting to do it. Oh, no, just a little coffee there. Cool. We'll get through this. Ah. Get some decaf. <laughs> right! This game! <laughs> it didn't uh, kick in until after. Scott's playing anymore. baby mode. This wins against noobs, but loses against, like, no, Peter That's Alex. really good. No. That's a really good move. Okay. Nah. Not doing it. Go for it. I'm doing... Your, it's your delayed ghost. Yep. Got a little bit of audio from that TV. It's looking good on that TV. Yeah. yeah. We're uploading 8 megabits per second. 1080p's. Taking so long. Try to remember first turn. Try to remember how I win this game. It's too late. Just hurry up. Be good. You're taking longer than anyway. Oh, uh, you right. must take the treasure if there is a choice of we treasures. We talked about that already. It's furthest toward the corners. No, of the we. Board. It's specifically the four Only corner one. Four yep. All right. I'm done. All right. All right. I'll leave the bag here until someone needs it. Okay. Mm. Get that blue line. Towel. One more action. Big towel. Big towel. Big towel. All right. I don't see why this could be a bad idea. Do that. And we'll do that. And I'll get a red QB. Yep, take your red cube. point. Chris is winning. <laughs> I have zero points. But... No, because the tiebreaker is the next lowest. Ah. Uh, so eventually. Uh, so I need a tile. My turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hard to tell that red and green part. Oh. Yeah, we had the, the gene worlds and the uh, rare goods worlds and I didn't the galaxy. Line. Yeah. Look at the uh, the pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, they have very different pictures. And as for the icons, uh... Good luck. Red, green. Green, green. Mm. That's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Alright. Scott, take your turn. Green, green. Green, green. Two greens. Two greens. Two my bag. Hmm. Here you go. Alright. Red point. Black leader. Take my red point. And a towel. Yep, draw up to five. Two green, points. Two green points. points. Take little. Oh, points. the big ones are just five points. Yeah, don't yeah. accidentally take big ones. Another green point. If your score is gigantic, we will be like, what yeah. the hell? Let's take what what happened? Yep. Two green points. Yeah. All right, let's get some leaders out on this ball. Oh, everyone's throwing this green bullshit over there. It's bad news, bears. One. Hmm. Hmm. Two, and I get a green point. Yep. If I'm not mistaken. My go? Yep. yep. 
I'm gonna keep doing that. Blue. how much dinkier it got. Now everyone's quiet. We can hear ourselves on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> kind of creepy. All right. Well, I can deal with it's it. It's Rim's turn. He's taking the longest out of everybody. Yeah. Yep, He's so slow. I'm thinking. This game. I, like the order. <laughs> I, heard, I understood that. Your turn takes as long as all three of our turns combined. Yeah. It's hard <laughs> and he's going to win. That's the worst part. No. It'll be awesome when I win. I simply want to place. Green coin. Green coin. Two blue points, yep. and you get two top. Mm. Let's go with a blue, a blue, and I get a blue point. <laughs> two black points. Can't put that there. It's not next to red. Oh, that's right. Not next to red. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you get a green point. Oh no, there you go. Yeah, it's green, green point. Green point. Green, green, monument, black, green. All right. Oh. You get two green points from that. I get three green points mm. and a black point. Uh, give me three green. I have enough ones out here. They're all fives. Uh, okay. So you get two green points and you put them down, and then you get a green and a black at the end of the turn. Yes. Mm. Here, you get two tiles. All right, all right. You gotta disrupt that immediately. I need, I Putting, need connecting black. these and taking that treasure will definitely do it. Because then you can be catastrophe out. Okay. Alright. I have no red points. My score is zero. Don't look at me. Mm -hmm. Look at Rim. He's taking two forever on his turn. I'll take mm -hmm. it forever. Okay, I'm doing okay. Listen, in the vote who wins game, don't, don't vote, vote for, for Rim. Rim. Don't right. forget that. No matter how many monuments mm -hmm. you see me having in my kingdoms. Yeah, Scott's already vote. winning by don't, a lot by having a monument. Don't vote for him, no matter how many monuments you see me having. Noobs lose this game because someone ignores a monument. This is Rim's plan. This is how he always does. Don't fall for it. Yeah. You know it's true. Don't forget it. I have a good tile so tackle this problem. That's a shame. Why don't you use a catastrophe? Big shot. Maybe I will. Go for it. Alright, I'll jump in here. An internal conflict. Versus, oh, me? Yep. Blue, blue. One. So it's 
Reds? Yep. How many are you playing? I'm playing three more, total of four. Total of four? You got it, take your red point. For my second action. For my second action. I don't have, even have two of my leaders bag, on the board. Bag. Bag. Yeah, two of your leaders are winning. I have zero red points. I haven't even had my red leader on the board all game. Usually you don't protest this much when you're actually losing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why is everyone looking at me? Why is everyone... Ah! I can't believe what Rim, anything Rim says. can't believe anything Scott says. <laughs> <clears throat> Thing is, I never lie. I'm 100% accurate. I just you might are omit. not. I just might, at this moment in time, you are lying. I just might omit things, and I'm not lying. Scott has the most strong position, and that has to be attacked. Hopefully, with this kingdom that is the same colors. He has no green defense right now. It is true. The problem is, you need blue tiles to get in there. Uh, there's one. Blue point? That's a conflict. So you get a blue point and a conflict. Put, yep, friendship tile there. Take your blue point now so you don't forget. Yeah. All right, so uh, green, whose turn is it? So which conflict yep. do you want to have green first? Green or black? Black or green. Let's go with black. You sure? How many? Oh, right. You might have a plan. You're right now, you have zero and he has two black. Oh, right, 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 sorry. sorry. Um, you have three green and he has yeah. zero green. Green. Alright, All right. so now you show some number of green tiles. Your strength is three plus however many green tiles you show to then discard. Zero. Alright, you get one green point. Yep. Bam. And, and now, now you're going to get that. At the end of your turn, you're going to get the monument point. Sweet. Now the black conflict must occur. Yep. How many black tiles are you playing? Zero. Wow, then get out of there. Give me a black point. Yep. And then you still get that green. I still do. Why do they have so many? You get one. You get a treasure of your choice. Pick one of the treasures. That's right. Yoink. Hmm. Now take the handshake off. Boom. All right. That's your, that's your whole turn. Did you get the monument point? Yeah. Yeah. The one green point. All right. Just pointing out a cast for you right here would be funny. It would be funny. Yeah. It would. It would hurt me too. I'm not doing that. Um, let's go with... Oh, now they're in a sunbeam. Even more yeah. Sunbeam. I put 18 plus restrictions on them, just in case. Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 Alright. Let's go. Internal conflict. Alright. Alright, on so you play some number of red tiles. Yep. From your, behind your shield. Mm. How many? Mm. Mm. All right, uh, and I don't draw up until the end of my turn. That's right? correct. Yep. All right. Well, I don't want these in my hand anyway. Three. So it's four versus. Do you have three red tile? I mean, how many play? However, you can play however many red tiles you want, even if you don't win. You don't have to play it. Three. So uh, defender wins. So you get off. You get red, red, point. red point for you. All right. These all go away. They're all, all gone. The all out of the You get a red point. Okay. Action two. Action number two. Do the same thing again if you were clever. Uh, it would be clever. Because if you don't have any red tiles left. Yeah. Yeah. Not having any red tiles in your hand it puts you in a huge, dangerous position. Actually. All right. It's one on one. Ah! <laughs> one other red point. All right. I tried. All right, everyone. I'll draw back up to six. Yep. You people. Yep. Okay. As your turn. It is my turn. Well, hold now. I'm gonna put my leaders back on the board because they're not on the board right now. You're a leader on the board. So we're winning. You got the black leader right in the middle. Like a one leader. A on black the monument. One leader is on the board. Remember black leader, black green. monument. Green. Really? Why do you want to be in this kingdom? My shit kingdom. Oh no no blue one. Okay, there you go. Right. Hmm. 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 Do weird shit, actually. 
Oh, I get a black point because nope. I'm in the awesome kingdom. I need I had all these ones out on the board. I can't. Why does this game come with so many big ones? And so Why don't you put all ones? these big ones back and put all the small ones over there and right? reach them? You stand over there and sort that shit. <laughs> I turned down this offer. For what? Hmm. I will. Go here. That's not actually joined two kingdoms. And there's no conflict. Correct. I get this treasure. Correct. And now I have a second action. Yeah. Hey, by the way, if you have five little ones, you should be cashing them in for the big ones regularly. Yep. Because there aren't a lot of the big ones, the little ones. Hmm. I don't think I can do that. Yeah, let's take the green mm -hmm. point. That's my turn. Yeah. I need the bag. I need the bag. Here's the bag. Here's the bag. The turn took so long. That's not my turn. Two tiles just get put over there in the middle of nowhere. Someone moved. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Rim was down there. Yeah, he just moved over there. Mm. Get a red. Okay, get one red point. One red point. All right. The video looks way better than what it looks like from actually looking at the table. Because <laughs> it looks like this is like a heading of everything. Alright, my turn. Red. Red point. Red point. And black point. And I get to draw a tile. Is that so you put that down there? Yep. Oh, and you get a black point for that. Okay. Oh, I didn't get my green point from that over there. At the end of your turn? At the end of my turn. Okay, I take it. Oh, let me cash in and get some fives. Can I have a green, black, and a green, a big black, and a big green? Why is there a treasure out here? Because there was an extra one in the treasure. box. Oh, there's probably some rule in the stupid extensions. Maybe it's just an extra. I don't know. Oh, other board, I think, has an extra spot to Maybe. Start. That makes sense. Let's get rid of this treasure. Now. <clears throat> Keep doing what I'm doing, or want to do something different. Keep doing what I'm doing, or do something different. That's always the question. I kind of want to do something different. <sighs> Put myself in a bad and weird spot here. Let's. I just want to pick that guy up and just move him. Go for it. I'm going to steal all the treasures. Hmm. Treasure thieving. It's going to be a treasure hunter. Just end the game real quick with treasures. Treasure hunter is not a bad place to be. <laughs> Can't get the color points you want to just get treasure points. <laughs> I'm actually just going to take a blue point for my second What action. was your first action? Oh, I didn't. I have two actions. Never mind. <laughs> I was thinking that I only had one action. If I have two actions, I could do something much more devious. What? What? Did you do a first action? No, I definitely didn't. Mm, cheating? <laughs> we can check. Last turn. We have video. We have video evidence. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't it last turn I moved over here and did that thing? Yeah, you did that last turn. Yeah. I will. Oh. Is it too early to do that? Though? Is it too early to catastrophe?
And he had video. <laughs> but I want my green guy and my black guy in that kingdom. I can only get one of them in there easily. Catastrophe everyone out. Doesn't catastrophe him out. That's the important part. Go for it. Then I could do a black conflict. That wouldn't be so bad. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Hurry up. Why does your turn take ten times to everyone else's turn? We need a timer here. Catastrophe! Oh, shit. Okay. And then... Put him right next to her, but then someone might just catastrophe me, me out. But then they wouldn't be able to get in easily. Like, you were hearing me catastrophe and, de and detach that too. Yeah, you could. Catastrophes are strong. Oh my god. Really strong. Really strong. I'm gonna risk it and go here because I can be catastrophed out either way. Okay. So instead, hurry up. I know your get turn takes longer than everyone else's turn. We're gonna now one. count to fifteen and then start punching you on your turn. <laughs> When we normally play this game, I'm taking a normal amount of time on my No. Team. Notice how fast everyone else's turn is? Right. Even these people have never played the game yep. before, ever. With their random heuristics? Two black points. Hey, I, I openly said mm -hmm. I'm going to play randomly and in a general fashion that I think might get points. <laughs> um, fuck your black leader. Oh, and I get... What, that guy? He's just yeah. saying that. Yeah. Catch your room right off if you want to. Yeah. You'll notice how... Catastrophes would be way powerful if you could use them with two actions instead of one. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to put this red dude on there. Black, you get a red. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with that. That happens. Yeah. The red guy in there and have red kingdom. I see what you're doing. Okay. I see what you're doing. It's not that bad of a strategy, actually. It won't win, but it's looking pretty good. Okay. All right, Scott. My turn. Yeah. Test from the right off now. Nope. Uh, actually, I'm gonna move my green guy here. And then play a green tile. And then play a tile. Play a. Um. You don't have a green tile. You don't want to play a red tile. I'll move my green guy here, mm -hmm. and play a red tile here. That's terrible, but okay. Uh, <laughs> play it. Scott, take your turn! Yeah. Oh my god, Scott! <laughs> Scott! Scott. A red tile here, and I'll take my treasure, and I'll take my red point, and I don't get any other points. Okay, so it's my turn? Yeah. All right, now my decisions are a lot more straightforward. Oh, my black kingdom is gonna be so tile big! The bag. So big and powerful! So the big, big powerful. black kingdom. It is the big black kingdom. Many, many black kings hung out in my kingdom. I might get rid of that red guy. I, want, I think it's really easy for me to get attached for me to out. So maybe I should just go for the big conflict early. Eh, whatevs. Play it the way I play it. Oh, I could connect up here and fight. Ah, that could be dangerous, though. Could be dangerous. I'm going to. Blue points. And then I'm going to. Red points. And then I get a black point. That's my turn. Some number of red tiles, attacker. Let's go for one. one put tile. up some num put up <laughs> there's not really any reason to put more than one, but put up some number put of red tiles. Yeah, any number of red yep. tiles that you choose. All okay. Right. Oh, shot. You're off the board, red point for you. Yep. Alright, All right. second action. Second action. Let's see. 
one is not enough for an attack. You need like two, three, remember, like someone's holding six tiles, right? And red is the most common. So if you're gonna attack someone for an internal conflict, you need like a fistful of red. Mm -hmm. Like one is not gonna cut it. Unless they leave like a big opening, right, where you can use like the adjacent red tiles. Like if it's like, there's two reds like this and it's an opening, like you have an advantage. All right, let's put that here. Get a blue point. Yep. Blue point. And you need a tile, I need a tile. And I need a... You get a green, green for your monument. Yeah. Did you get your monument point? Yeah, yeah. 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 I get one. All right. So, what do I get here? All right. That makes that somewhat easier. All right. I'll get a red point. Careful, son. And can we leave that spot open? I know, I'm looking at it, that's the problem. Please don't attack yeah. my helpless, defenseless city. Hmm. Alright, it's worth an action. I have two, I Internal put up conflict. I put right. up nothing. Alright, so two. If you put up even one red tile. Yep. And you lose, you just gave someone a red point with your action. Yeah, red point. Why you guys keep doing this? <sighs> Seriously. <laughs> Alright, Scott. Unless he has a good balance of other points, that red point's meaningless. Hmm. Hmm. Scott, take your turn. Take your turn. I don't know. Rim. Treasures. Play a blue point? And get the treasure. Get the treasure? Oh, that's your corner the, treasure, right? Yeah. That's the end of my turn, so I get a black point for my monument. Mm -hmm. That was my turn, done. Okay. I'm gonna get this treasure over here, too. I'm not. <laughs> Actually, yes, I am. Unless someone stops me, so. In fact, I am straight up gonna go for that treasure. I'm just taking all treasures. I've only got a number of treasures. A number. Mm. There are five, one, two, three, four, five, six treasures out. So four more would have to be taken. All right, I'm here. All right, we have an immediate internal conflict. How many are you putting up? It's one on one currently. Okay. I'm gonna go with two. So it's a total of three. All right, I have one. Two, three. So oh no. Get a red point. You get a red point. And because the kingdom did not stay connected, I don't get that treasure. Hmm. Red army is coming for you, son. Except everyone's got a red army except. Lions don't have a red army. Lions tried to get a red army. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm it takes a lot of people who aren't really board gaming. Oh, I didn't take a town. Right a lot of it's very hard for them to get around the fact that they're playing an icon, not a color. Yeah. And they even when they figure out the game, whatever kingdoms they found, they kind of yeah. think of them as their kingdoms and right. they kind of just focus on them. On that no. particular color. And like if they get kicked out, like they try to get back in for no reason. Alright. Their kingdom. Blue point for yep. uh, Yep, and a green. Watch out for Scott, he's winning. Mm. 
Grim is definitely winning. You guys keep doing stupid shit like internal conflicts that you lose. Hey, I tried to win at least two of those internal conflicts. <laughs> yeah, you. Uh, I failed to win with if three you're the, tiles. If, if you're the aggressor and you fail, yeah. then that was a bad move. Depends. I've occasionally turned a game with a desperate. I'm betting you don't have any red tiles. <laughs> All right. Let's get some black. Two black. Two black. Mm. Oh. So why is this treasure still here? Uh, there are two treasures there in the kingdom. kingdom. Oh. There have to be two treasures in the kingdom, and then, well, all the treasures more than one get taken by whoever has a green leader in that kingdom at the end of a turn, okay. or the end of an action. Okay. Right. That makes sense. Like the end of a conflict. Yep. Two blue. Two blue. Oh, I see what you're doing there. Ah, oh, tiles. I saw your points. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't draw back up. I need to draw back up. I need to, I need to draw back up. <laughs> Look what you did. Wow. Wow. Back up. wow. There's probably a tile on the floor we're gonna miss now. There's one over there. Yeah. Why'd you drop it? <laughs> Why'd you drop it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the camera's too low, so there's no video evidence if we dropped it. Yeah. Mm. Anyone watching on the stream? This is laughing. Remember Scott both collectively just dropped the bag of tiles. <laughs> It was a tragedy. That was even hair that day. I mopped like two days ago. Look at all this hair. I didn't mop behind this table. Somebody said, ooh, race for the galaxy. <laughs> yeah, well, that was a while ago. Yeah. Ro tweeted at me. He was like, why are you playing that bullshit game? That's a good game. It's the best game. Two tiles for me. One tile for me. I'm already drawn out. You're done with your turn, Scott? Yeah. Okay. Uh, see the... Less than the dishwasher are clean. Oh, uh, yes. They're clean. Oh, I needed to drop two. I was like, I only have five tiles. That's bullshit. And I dropped a tile. Stop dropping tiles. Now you gotta be like that. Alright, I will. Green point. Treasure. I'll take that one. Yeah, I'll take that one. For my second action. <clears throat> Let it be known that much like those two Race for the Galaxy games, I have a hand of crap. <laughs> Settle? <laughs> oh. Still pretty hefty. Okay. So I'm gonna put this right here. So blue, blue point. Blue yep. point. Pot. Yeah. Why are you giving the pot a blue point? Everyone catching uh, stuff for fives because we don't even have any. Blue and then I'll put this could. down right here. So I'll get a green point and that treasure. And over well, here. first we you don't get a green point because that causes we have to yep. do that. Yeah, but right. And then, and then, then nothing happens. happens. Like, so you, you don't, don't get, get the green, green point. point. You but do get the treasure. Yeah. You yes. didn't need to put this here to get the treasure. Oh really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so you gave it. him a blue point for no reason whatsoever. Mm. Do you want to undo giving him a blue point for no reason whatsoever? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I'll mm -hmm. put this somewhere. Better. I like that blue point. Don't give people <laughs> other people points that aren't you. <laughs> That's a general basic. Sometimes it's useful. very rarely, unless it's like to you know to set up like some huge external conflict. Yeah. Don't give other people. I just points. thought since there was yeah. no yeah. no, yeah. no the leader is a, is a is. part of the kingdom. And All you right. still have a second action then. Yeah, I do. <laughs> the narwhal is not part of the kingdom. Okay. 
do not like this. Um, Sam, I am. I do not like this. Sam, I am. <laughs> I don't like this outfit. All right. Okay. All right. Let's get this started. Black, black. Yeah, you two Do black you want points. the red, black, red, or the black, blue? I want black, red. Okay. Now you get two black points. Okay. And now that kingdom has almost no black tiles to defend it. Foolish. I will discover my mistake. Well, Maybe as soon as you discover. say that, actually, I discover my mistake, <laughs> but... Here. Give me a big black cube. Bigger black cube? Yeah, give me that bigger black cube. That's it? So then you get a black cube? And then I get a black cube. Alright, Scott. I draw two. Hmm. How many blue tiles are in the game? 30. Speed turn. Isn't I don't. It? it doesn't bother me. I'm just pointing out your hypocrisy. <laughs> Taking a room speed turn on purpose, just to bother you. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Except you don't, because it'll bother you waiting more than it bothers me to wait for my turn. It's like you attack me with fire. Move my red guy over here. But I'm wearing a fire-resistant ring. Move my black guy in there. Internal conflict, three on two. What are you putting up, Scott? Against lion? I'll make it five. Five on two. So you have to bring up at least three red tiles to win this. Okay. We're out. There, red point from a red monument. And I draw two tiles. Huh. The thing I expected to happen didn't happen. Black conflict here would disconnect us from the kingdom. It's interesting like that. Then the blue conflict would happen. And I don't care who wins it, because it gives one of those two people a bunch of blue points. Don't really want either one of them to get a bunch of blue points. Whichever one of them loses that conflict is double fucked, though. Huh. I got all these other tiles. I would need three of you to help me in the game quickly. I don't think that's gonna happen. I just get the suspicion. People cash in for fives because there's like no big, there's no blue ones over here. More blue ones. Oh. <laughs> 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 you do, there's even more in there. Yeah. <laughs> See, here's the thing, I have this game on who's my putting, iPad. Who's putting these ones in the box? Now I'm going to be able to actually play it. Who's putting <laughs> ones in the box? What's wrong with you? Uh, now the game's actually uh, in a really critical stage. The, the, the victory is not determined yet, but the next like, three rounds are going to determine who wins. Pretty much, yeah. Are you guys to Nope, I have it's a turn. Because now, now it's critical fuck time. <laughs> critical fuck time is the best fuck time. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna make use of this. None of these things look particularly good. Huh. Don't want 
want that to happen. I don't want those to connect. Uh, there's really there's just four kingdoms. This whole game there's just four big kingdoms. At least there aren't twelve kingdoms. <laughs> None of them is a Pete crosshatch though. That's true. Because they don't know that move. Or an Alex snake. <laughs> but I have no pro moves. <laughs> Generally what Pete does is he'll make yeah. like a red, red, red checkerboard yeah. and he'll put all his guys locked in. Oh, He's alternating so he... red and black because black is the most resistant to other people coming in with tiles mm -hmm. because then they'll give him a point. Yeah. And he'll usually build it like... In the corner over here. There. Right? Just like, yeah. He'll lock it into a corner. Mm-hmm. So you can only attack it from right. one direction. I make my move. Uh, wish I'd drawn better tiles. Just gotta, I gotta live with this. I live with what I drew. I complain about it. Huh. I cut that motherfucker off. Then that just denies me all the things I need to win that other conflict. That actually doesn't help me at all. That also gives someone else a treasure. Oh, there's no easy to cut off snake kingdoms at all. Because they're doing a bunch of random bullshit, these two. Hey, making everything weird. You're not so great here either. Oh, there we go. I've gotten a little bit better from where I started. A little bit. A little bit. Did not start off so strong. If I move that guy there. No, no, that would be really bad. Oh, what can I internal conflict for maximum damage? All right. Green battle. Internal two, two conflict. On one. So I've got two, you've got one. I'm putting up three more, so five. I'm five. Lion has Can you put up four? Red point for yep. bull. Okay. Now I'm in there. I got one more action. Action two. Action two is going to be... I got plenty of black and plenty of green. I'm gonna put another two, three, one, two, three, four, five, whatever. Can't make that extra contiguous easily. Whatever, I'll take it all the way up here anyway. Black point. Mm -hmm. And now I get black point and green point. That's my turn. All right, I'm gonna throw this awful shitty hand away. Whoa! Yeah, that's all action, of it. Action one. Yep. All of it. See, that's bad because you're just making the game end quicker, and Rim is ahead, so oh, you're helping right. Rim win. <laughs> yeah, but if you were ahead, yeah, you'd be like, yeah, that's great. Yeah, if I, if but I, I would tell you that see, as well. Why are you doing that? If I had kept my hand, like, it was helping me lose. Uh, you have one more action now. I need yeah. the bag. You need the bag. I need the bag. Take the bag. A little bit. Oh, there's not that much left in the bag now. There's a little bit. No, oh, there's a lot. Bag's fine. Don't believe anything Rim says. Touch the bag yourself. Just touch the bag. Okay. I'll move here. It's my turn. All right. Oh. All right. I had consent. <laughs> Any lawyer would. That implies that my bag deserves the definite article. <laughs> well, everyone. Why did you do that? Why did I do that? You because I got a green point. I know you did. And a red point, and a black point, uh, and another black point. Uh, um. <laughs> and didn't I warn you way back that that was a bad idea? Yeah, you did. And it just hung out there. Yeah, it was. It hung out there. All right, I'm throwing three away. Not all hands. Why are you people throwing away. stuff away? What? I've won games doing the tactical throwaway to fill my hand with red oh, yeah. and then internal conflict someone. And my second action. Internal conflict me? If I drew the right things, I would. You can't play that. Those aren't, it's not a play you can make. <laughs> you have to do what you can with the hand you have, not like go and gamble. Scott, that's what I tell out. you when you lose. Yeah. You can't do that. Yeah. You just wasted a whole action. That was like losing a point. Come at me, bro. Uh, no. <laughs> God. Um. All right, fuck it. It's my green kingdom. Um, I got a red. Yes. Why do you get a red? Or I get a black. No. <laughs> oh. 
Yes, okay. Um, Start a big fight. Build a monument, get some points. Can do something. Um, if that weren't you, putting a monument there would be great. <laughs> yeah, right? Seriously. Because the blue monument, actually, blue and red right there, would be really good. Mm hmm. Wouldn't be bad. Unless you need green points. There is a blue and green as well. Mm. But there's no blue and red. Mm. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, there's one monument for every possible combination. Yep. If you didn't know. But the ones that were out, I forgot that there's only these black ones that come out. Let's take a black point. Yep. You gonna connect these? You gonna connect them? Shh. Are you done? <laughs> okay. Red point and monument red point. Alright. Hmm. I need a big red. Big red. And I get two tiles from the bag. Blue point, blue point. So blue, blue, green, black. Yep. Like he's getting a whole point every turn. I see it. Because you people are not doing I see anything. It. I didn't get a red point that turn. I told you what to do and you didn't listen to me. I didn't get again. a red point that turn. Attack rim only. I didn't get a full point unless I got a treasure. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. And you guys didn't even, even get like a cube on your turn, let alone a full point. Rim score is going to be like over 10. Don't throw catastrophes! <laughs> do not throw souls. <laughs> Yeah, Catastrophe rims dudes off the board. It'll be really hard for him to get back on without a bunch of red tiles. Part of what happened early in the game is that my hand was almost nothing but red for multiple rounds. Alright. I see what's going on here, so... Catastrophe that? Yeah. Uh, hey! Oh, okay. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> and... Black coin. I was not gonna build a monument, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was green. The rare green black color blind. Yeah. <laughs> it all looks the same. Yeah. All right. It's a body like Finn the human. <laughs> I love that episode. Yeah. Here's the little color blind. All right. Fuck this. Okay, this is yep, off. I'm off. <laughs> it doesn't go away. I still get it. Mm -hmm. Still my guy. <laughs> all right. Um. And you better put your black eye in that kingdom. Where are you gonna put him? You can put him here. Yeah. Or you can put him all the way over here. Or you can put him here, which is cut off, so it doesn't matter. Those are yeah. both cut off. Now you fucked up. Like join these two. Okay. Oh, okay. Put sure. the friendship down. All right. What conflict do you wish to occur? There is a green a conflict. One. There's a green and a red. Green one. And it, oh, no, there's and no blue. There's no blue because that's, that's blocked. joined. There's green a green. And a red. And a red. Which one do you wish to occur first? Green. Green? Okay. It's pot versus bull. So I've got one. You're, two. The, you're the aggressor, pot. So yep. play as many greens as you like to add to your two. Four, Four against zero. Against zero. Huh. I am putting. Uh, would that work? I can't win the conflict, but I'm deciding if I should put up some green tiles just to accelerate the end of the game. Do whatever you want. Let me feel the bag. That's actually really important. Fondle the bag. Do it. Let me fondle the bag. <laughs> oh, it won't matter. I do not put up anything. Okay. I One lose green point. I get a green point. You get a green point. Okay. Alright, there's still a red conflict. Uh, red conflict's aggressive. happening. I put up no red tiles. So I have two against three? Yes? Uh, correct. So if I play one, I win? Yes. One. So you get a red tile. No, I get one, two... Uh, well, don't, do we remove the leader first? The leader's removed first. Wait, so go back up. There's three. They were one, two, three. So, so if off. we remove this leader, that red tile wasn't in the kingdom anymore. Yeah. Oh, ooh, good question. Does it question. count or not? Good question. Good question. Or if question. we did, we looked it well, up. Well, they were in a diagonal like this with the whatever. Let's yep. look up the full the text and yep. make a decision. Thanks for helping me so much. You, maybe you might me, have made Scott You helped me win, probably. Um... All right. Because now you gave... As long as I get some cutbacks from you. What kind of cutbacks? Next game, going forward, you gotta <laughs> scratch my back. What is wrong with that? <laughs> I did, like... 
I'll cut your back. I might <laughs> stab it. I'm not going to help you. I'm thinking one turn ahead, or half a turn ahead. This, this is an unintended oh side God. effect. All right, all right. The loser must withdraw his leader and remove all supporters from the original kingdom. The original kingdom? Right, right, okay. Yep. Yeah. So Victor that includes receives... those three. So I receive all the points. I receive yes. four red. So all the from the original kingdom. So I get four red, and all three of these are gone. And thank you. Out of curiosity, did you have a second red tile? Yes. Oh, okay. But it doesn't matter because now I didn't have to use it, which yep. is awesome. Because now it's end of your turn. Uh, end of my turn. I get to draw a tile before so my turn starts. I get a green. You get uh, no. I don't get anything. I get it's a green. not my turn. Oh, fucking sweet! God damn it! Fucking sweet! God damn it! Fucking sweet! Probably would have won if that didn't happen. Holy shit. I just had an extended dream that was the product of being in here while y'all were playing this. I started playing with you too. Oh, but yeah. then I lost my voice and I started panicking. I was like, what's my voice? And I'm trying to mimic these things at you. I'm trying to type on my text. That's like an allegory of my voice. And you guys like don't notice. Okay. That's an allegory of most people trying to play games with us. I'm gonna get a black point. <laughs> uh, red point for... Uh, oh, do I get two black points for this, too? Yes. Okay. If they were connected. Hold yeah, on. They got connected. Red point for me. Yeah. Okay. Handshake. Get the handshake down. Where's my handshake at? Okay. First, we're going to do the blue conflict. I have five against two. I will make it six. I'm out. You gave Scott three blue points. Thank you. Oh, and these go off the board, too. Uh, black conflict. Yes. So I have three against three. One, two, three, four, five, right? Yeah. Oh, five yep. against three? Uh, that's, well, I, you're didn't, the, I didn't see those Scott, two. you're the aggressor, so... It's, yeah, it's actually what bad. What do you got? What do you got? I have three more, so it's six against five. Yeah, it's less Damn. than I thought. Okay, fine. I'm off. You give him a bunch of points. You get four. Three. Four, four black, black points. points. Four black points. I thought I didn't see those two. Scott, you motherfucker. You fucked that up. I did. All right, it's fine. Uh, yeah. the handshake's off. I'm going to throw one back and take a big cube. All this collateral damage for but that. that. I get a, black get cube? a red point. Oh, black cube? Uh, I get a red point from this monument, and now I need big cubes. Uh, big red and big blue. You motherfuckers. Big red, big blue. Okay. <sighs> awesome. And then I draw back up to six. Oh, I, hey, I have none, so I draw back up to six, because I spent everything. Motherfuckers. Oops, they took too many. That kingdom right, was you... not prepared. Okay. Alright. Well, you set it up for me. It, it was like a soft toss. I didn't realize though that I was with yeah. this, that I was at, there were two more in that kingdom. Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to win the black one. Can I recover this or not? Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay, never mind. No, I checked that. <laughs> I checked that. Good checking. One, two, three, four, five, six blues. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, it would take too many actions to pull it off. That would take. Uh, if I had another action, that would work perfectly, but it won't. I could. So what color do I need? I need that color. <laughs> and that color. That color would be okay, too. That color I don't need at all. Mmm. Alright, that's what I'll do if it gets to my turn again. I see the strategy of my turn that is coming up. If the board does not change drastically. <laughs> I, say, I just like how every single thing I do, I think I know it's going to happen, and then I see the fullness of what's going to happen. I'm like, well, that's good to know going forward. <laughs> uh, there's, there's a black dude hanging out in there. I can just cut that off right now. There's a lot of... Now you fucked up. Yeah, because I can also do an awesome internal conflict there. Against what? Nothing? 
uh, if I connected these. I was thinking of the same exact that, attack. Yeah, yes, you're doing really, the move that I was yes, going to do on my turn. That's a really obvious and awesome move. <laughs> I was gonna connect here, give myself like a blue point or something, yep. and then put move my green guy into there to kill this guy and get the green monument. Because everyone needs green points. Okay, watch what I'm gonna do instead. This Literally is totally everyone kosher. needs green points. Catastrophe. Aren't those guys still con oh, because they're red, yeah. This is not a kingdom. I put my green guy there. You get the tro the treasure. I get the treasure, whichever one I want. I'm taking mm -hmm. this one. Yep. And you get the green point. And I get the green point. From the monument. Yes. Alright. How many treasures are left? One, two, three. If anyone takes a treasure, that ends the game. Yes. Yes. And then he can take a treasure on his turn, just going boop. So, just see so you now. Just right. an FYI. Can he? I mean, that's separated. Yeah. He just puts one tile here, here. Uh -huh. and then he takes the treasure. Anyway, it's your turn. <laughs> it's danger time. It's panic time. I'm so optimal. Touchy, touchy yeah. so my treasures. I have a treasure that does not get me a point right now. He's got too many treasures. It's not good. Oh, I'm just gonna go with black and black. All right. Get some black ones. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say a lot, but Chris. Yeah. Look at the board real carefully. Think about what Scott's going to do and realize its ramifications for you. I'm going to win if you mess up. Ah, uh, why are you going to make me think about this? Um, there's no ramifications for you, really. It's mostly ramifications for Rim, who's going to lose. Yeah. Uh, you get in the game. Whatever, the game is going to end. Whatever kind of point you need to win, just get that point. Like I, I need all the points. Using a t using like a um, using like two actions to take a monument is going to matter less now because you only get like one point out of it before the game ends. Right. Whereas if you had, you know, um, simply put down two tiles, you could have gotten two points. Yeah. Right. Or two cubes, not two points, but mm. you get the idea. Um, well, that's less good now. We've got catastrophes. You guys haven't been using your catastrophes. I have, I have, uh... Do I have any, where's my other catastrophe? I thought I only used the one there. I have my catastrophe. Yeah, there's only four catastrophes out. <sighs> the problem is, I have two actions with which to fix three colors in which I need cubes. Yeah. So I'm yeah. kind Whichever of Whichever one is fucked. the lowest is the one you should go for. Yeah. Um, so I am just going to, in the interest... Expediency. Um, catastrophe. Oh, that would be beautiful, actually. Because then... You, had, you can just play a catastrophe. Then there's only a green leader in this giant kingdom. Yeah. Well, he's green, there'd be black. Oh, because I would get rid of my black. Oh, yeah, get rid of your black. Yeah. That's the problem. Mm. So I do that, and then I do that, and maybe. We're going to learn a lot about Chris right now, about what he does. Mm, sure. <laughs> Fuck it. All right. Let's do it. All right. Get rid of that. And then... That got you no points. It did <laughs> not get me any points. But you don't need black points. Internal conflict. Okay. All right. You've got three. How many are you putting up? Nothing. That's all I have. So, yeah, you take a guy out. Red point. Rim gets a red point. Your turn. <laughs> uh, babies mode. <laughs> Hearing. Uh, Rim dropped three tiles from the bang. Yep. Bang. Which is very. Uh, it's there's plenty in there still. It's not gonna end right now. Yes, it is. Scott can end it. I'm gonna try. You gonna get to try to take the treasures and end it that way? No, I have to go for a big play. If you don't take the treasures, it's not gonna end. Shh. Shh. I could end it on my turn. Mm. Oh, actually, I don't think I can. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> you can't follow the bad guy closely. Four, five, six. Even if you play two tiles, I can't end the game on my turn, I don't think. And if I risk it, and the game doesn't end, I wasted my turn. What if there's like a mega conflict? What, this blue bullshit all got destroyed? Actually, I have the biggest blue kingdom, so... 
Is that a blue fight? Is that a green fight? Everybody needs green. I want to do a crazy move. <laughs> but I'm going to make a conservative move. Oh, maybe it's not as unconservative as I thought. Move green here. All right. Can you do the external conflict? Yeah. All right. Boop, you don't get a point put, for that. Put the treasure right. there, or the uh, friendship there. How many green? It's three on two. Yes. Three on two. I have four. Three. You have four? I have four total? You have two in on the board. Three, four, and I'll start. Oh, where'd you get all those green tiles from? I got fucked because I didn't have any green tiles. All right. So I get one, two, three, four green points. <sighs> Who's giving the game the room now? I didn't. Listen, there Scott, weren't enough like, green tiles. I like how you said, I'm going to do the conservative <laughs> move. No, I decided not to do the conservative move. That was the crazy Now move. I have more green points than anything. Right. I didn't have enough green tiles in this game, so I had to do. That was the only thing I could do. Oh, no. I'm going to get the last turn. Thanks. Yep. Well, I didn't have a green tile, so I was supposed to do. Not that. Well. You might have been winning, actually, if you would just, like... If you didn't have... You needed two or f two or fewer green tiles, right? It was four on two. Yeah, if you had only one or zero green tiles... Scott, I I, my rule is simple. Unless I'm winning by three, I never initiate a conflict. I had no It's the end of the game. I had no choice. I needed green points. Uh, I don't have many leaders on the board. I'm getting points. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's your turn. Alright. Alright, well I got that guy in there anyway. Yeah, I should have done a different move. That's alright. Can I make a monument? Oh, I can make a monument there if I put a red if I put a red tile there, I can make a monument there. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I need the bag to draw new tiles. Could start a big old blue conflict too. End the game. Oh, there's no one to start a blue conflict with. Well, I guess that's not connected either. Right. There's no blue leader I can fight with. Yeah. That's... I was trying to get three green points by winning that as opposed to the two green points I could otherwise get on that turn by moving into the Monument Kingdom and then... All right. End of the game. I think I can end the game. One, two, three, four, five... <laughs> Six or seven? Six. If you One, take six twice, the game's gonna end. Two, three. <sighs> but I could get more points. I'm actually going to. Oh, I'll take that treasure and end the game. You could do that too. Blue point. He needs blue. That's the one that he's got lowest. Treasure? Uh, and I'm gonna do the treasure. If only I had green tiles in my hand, I would have won that. It would have been so glorious. Oh, it's not a. It's not a. My score would have been so high. I won't get my monument points though, because it'll end the game. Or no, it ends at the end of my turn, so I'll still get my monument points. Yes. So then, rather than. You... Yes, that's legal. Boop. And there are again. two blacks two. and green. Yep. And I get green, black, black. My score is six. Really? Yep. I've had more than that for like the last seven turns. <laughs> this, this no one a, listened to me. This is a problem. <laughs> this your, is a problem. Your score is three. Three. Five. Five. Give me a second. You guys didn't listen to me when I told this you. Is, this has been... Right. How many <laughs> times? I don't understand. All right, so you're the people who didn't listen to Don't Vote for Rim. So what were you thinking when you didn't do exactly what I told you to do all the time? I was trying to improve my position with every placement that I have, but I did not understand what would happen when I was doing it. All right, look at this, this treasure. I have a hanging treasure that doesn't do anything. But you didn't me. attack Rim when I told you to. Yeah, that's true. Five, six, but seven, I told you to do that, but you didn't. What's your score? Six. I said only nine. Yeah, nine. Mm -hmm. I could have had eight if I would have not done that and done something else. What? The <laughs> problem was, your big conflict was not enough to win you the game, but your big conflict thing. One, Chris handed it to you, but you jumped into it eagerly, and it put you in a... You assume the game would end earlier, I think. No. Because that what you did there got you like a reasonable number of points, but it set up like the rest of my game. I didn't need the, I was the fact that I was in a weak position didn't bother me. I, right? really I just blue. need there were certain colors I didn't have that I did not have, which was green, and I didn't have green tiles, right? So that particular conflict set me up 
in a way to get red and green. Because early in the game, I had... I only ever needed blue. I never needed green. I had I, green. I, no, but I needed green. Yeah. I didn't care what you needed. So you went after me with a, with a crazy... Uh, you're, the odds of winning that were like 12%. I needed some chance. more than. <laughs> <laughs> and had you won it, I think I still would have won the game. I don't know. I probably would have had 8 points on that. I, I still would have had 8 points. Hi. Might have been tied at 8. Uh, then the second number, which I also had 8 in, would have been tied. My second Actually, number. Actually, no, my second know. number would have been five. My second number was 10. Right. Because this treasure counts for that. Yep. So my second number would have been 10, so I would have won anyway. The other problem was that I was going first and you sat on the left. Uh, I sat here for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> you sat there in the last game we played. <laughs> I want, it's almost always good to be to the left. Because anything I do, he can attack yep. me afterwards. I can't yep. respond to anything Rim does mm. until you two fuck it up. <laughs> hey, I told you from the outset I was going to fuck that up. And look, it's fucked. But you could, you could have also just did what I told you. You guys played pretty aptly. The, the only mistakes you made was you initiated conflicts that the odds of you, you both, you were both, like yeah. 12% or less. Yeah, you both you initiated. The only time I initiated the risky conflict was like... Like the end of the game desperation. Yeah. All right. The other problem is you didn't seem to understand like how when you make an external conflict, someone gets a fuck ton of points. Yep. Right. The and you basically strategy? just left your. You basically just when you make a kingdom, you're like, ah, yeah. I've got a blue guy in a kingdom with a bunch of blue tiles. I'm so strong. It's like no, that's just a honey pot of blue points yep. for someone else to come and take. Mm-hmm. The real strat. The basic strategy is pick two colors. Max them out. Yep. I didn't have any blue tiles this whole game, actually. Like, these yeah. came in, Yeah, I had like... so many blue tiles, but I didn't need blue points. I needed green. See, I was set for black, but I had no red. Um, yeah. I had no green. See, that's the thing. Is the and whole I, I... game, I played the tiles that were handed to me, but uh, at the end of the game, I needed green points, so I had to make a green move even without green tiles. And I didn't have an extra action to throw out tiles out yeah. and grab green, and I'm pretty sure the rest of the bag is green. So you preemptively which... catastrophe this? Wasn't a great move, because... Me building this wouldn't have been that great because I would have been pretty weak. But more importantly, I was doing that as bait for Scott because I think Scott would have been like, "Rim's gonna build the monument. Rim's gonna build the monument." But then you just fucked it before anyone could say yeah. anything. I didn't care if you, but that monument's not that good. I, what what were, color were you gonna make it? Blue, green? Uh, blue. I, uh, Scott, I need look. Treasure yeah. won me the game. Treasure, <laughs> treasure that almost no one went after. That's another thing. You guys just let the treasure opportunity. You didn't go after the treasure. Either. It's not about going after the treasure. It's about when it was your turn. You yeah. placed tiles in such a way to make treasure grabbing easy. You could have t- taken advantage of that, though, because it was their turns, and then you. You, you didn't take any had advantage of it. Because you. I was, my guys weren't on the board, so I couldn't be. I, yeah. you know I, I was like, man, I could just take those treasures, but I can't because of where my guys Scott, are right now. my two catastrophes did the same thing. Knock your guys off the board. Right. My only plan... That's the other thing, is that because you was was your them, they were Rim only attacked me, <laughs> yes. and I only attacked him. You didn't, you didn't attack me. I couldn't attack you also because you, you went after me. You attacked me once. Right, because basically what happened is I would put my guys out, you would knock my guys off, then they would do stuff. Yeah, actually, you want to really And how happen? was I supposed to attack you? You want to have guys ball? on Let's the Let's go board. all the way back to the beginning of the game, because I want to show you something. I don't know if you did this on purpose or not, but when I was doing this in the beginning, mm-hmm. you were like, eh. Yep. Why did you go there? In the early, early game, I had guys like here in this tiny little like yep. bullshit. Why did you go there? I'm curious what your rationale all is. All right, so the reason I go... So first of all... This kingdom was going to stop giving out points once it was filled in. It was because it's walled in by water. Yeah. If I have the blue guy in that kingdom, right, at some point, if you want to grow that kingdom or not move out of it, you're going to have to give me blue points or find a way to kick my ass out of there by building a blue kingdom and coming in. Right? That was your rationale? Okay. So what I thought you were doing, because my only goal, because there were two news. And if someone builds the monument, I've got the blue guy Because there, there were news. Mo, I was going to build the red monument here on the next turn. So that they couldn't... So I'd have wall of water around me. So that they couldn't come and take the monument away from you. Red guy. Solid monument. It was going to be red guy, green guy, red green monument. Yeah, and sealed in, right. Yes. That's classic. But you were not doing this to stop my monument. You had this completely different rationale. <laughs> Is it... Because people go at the start of the game, they tend to make kingdoms that are like two colors and start building, right? So when they do that, it's like you can go, if you can find an opening, if they don't seal it up on all the reds, you can sneak your guy and maybe get some points, which is the reason that you always put black at the start, right? 
So that way, someone, like, if you started your first kingdom, like, red-blue, I'll just be like, ooh, I'll put my black guy in there, and yeah. I'll get all the green points, yep. and the black points, which is one placement. Yeah, there were multiple times where it was a bad idea for me to put more red tiles out, because it's just favor, more places for... Put all the tiles that aren't special in the bag, don't do anything else, because I'm going to get all the stuff cold guys in here organize this game for real. Oh, he got, he's got organized events? Cold guys in here all the <laughs> Ram doesn't know where anything is. Here, I think there I were multiple know. times during that game where I had a hand that was five blue tiles and one other tile. And I did not play that. Yeah, hand. It's, you, know, you wasted yeah. actions, like throwing yeah. tiles out. If you have a fist full of blue tiles, mm -hmm. just use them. Make I it. probably could have won an external conflict. Yeah, you, you can get a fuck ton of blue points yep. and you can discard them right away with an external yep. conflict. You can't discard, you know, discarding them for an action gets you no points. Yep. Right? Like, if I have a fistful of green, I'll be like, move my green into a kingdom and attack. And I'm like, yep. Because especially if they're in your hand, that's really powerful, because no one will ex was prepared for that in any way, shape, or form. You put it inside the Astro White Vines. So, yeah, those are nice. Um, do you want the big cubes separate from the little cubes? Yeah, I actually do, because the big cubes are basically fucking useless. Why are there so many of the big cubes? No one gets that many points. You're gonna in the most game. use two of those per player. <clears throat> so what I was just telling Scott was that there were multiple times where I had a hand full of blue tiles, and what I should have done is taken my blue kingdom over here, joined it to another kingdom, and just thrown them at an external conflict. Right. Instead of discarding. Instead of discarding right. them. Put discarding all the green and blue small ones in there. All right. Oh, you want to do it like that? Yeah. All the black and red small ones. Why don't in we there. just put all the big cute thing of four little thingies? I remember thinking. I only have a few out here right now. The rest are buried. And they don't need to be that organized, they seem to be usefully... Yeah, it's separate. <laughs> so putting them by twos is fine. No, I, can go to I thought, oh, I'll put red and green together, but then that's the most big possible combination. Right what time is it? 6.30? Anyone yeah. hungry now? Yeah, For I dinner? I kind of want to eat dinner. Yeah. What do you guys want At to some eat? point, soon -ish, ish, ish. I ate a bunch of cheese, so I'm not super hungry, but I yeah, want to I didn't eat guys. anything since brunch, so yeah. that was at like... I had pancakes again. 11. Yeah, but yeah, I could eat again. We could eat, we that could was eat like something. seven hours ago. I haven't eaten anything since then except a beverage. We could play another game, and then we could go out. We could, we could order Grubhub. Mm -hmm. we, could, we could play another game. We could order like a bunch of pizza. Do that I'd say Grubhub. Unless you guys have a good place around here. Uh, 